I'm Derek. I'm Gregory. Come join us on our adventures on TNG Explorers. Jai Jai. he won't be a little bit too dilly dilly um by the sunday oh what <laughs> a little bit too much to drink Easter uh, Bunny. i guess i don't know what he's drinking I on his know. way to everyone's house i don't know <laughs> but we have our great friends here with us disney Stacey and charlie nerd herders. disney nerd herders yes. thank and you for having you. us happy oh, to be here thank you, for, thank you for being here with us yes and we are excited because you guys <clears> recently <throat> announced you're going on your first cruise ever and you're going on a Disney cruise. Disney so. cruise! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yes, what, we are very excited. What could be better? So um, we're going to, still not sure how we're going to, the flow of this, but um, we're gonna, we'll are we probably just ask what questions you guys have fun. and we'll go from It's from Easter there. slash cruise slash Disney talk and yeah. hanging out with friends. Now, I will, I will say a lot mm -hmm. of our cruising community don't sell Disney because they're so expensive. <laughs> that's that's the thought process on it. But whether it's cruising, a lot of the cruise lines do the same thing. And even Sierra wants to, to she says, oh she God. says hello. <laughs> <laughs> Just wants to be up here. <laughs> so um, for the, um, we'll huh. say hello to the um, our explorers that are in, in the audience, in the audience, um, watching. 
Um, but you guys, first, um, if you can close the door. introduce yourself and say a little bit about who are the Disney Nerd Herders. Well, I am Charlie. This is Stacy, and um, we are the Disney Nerd Herders. We also have a, our daughter, Sophie, and our son, Avery, um, on the channel with us sometimes. Um, for the most part, we go live on Wednesday nights. Um, if it's a home stream, it's usually at 7 o'clock for our not quite ready for prime time mm -hmm. live stream um, in which we can do uh, we, lately we've been doing fireside chats and just uh, doing um, uh, updates on our, our, our life um, <laughs> yeah. just because it's been pretty hectic. But uh, sometimes we have, uh, we go in the parks. Sometimes we go in the parks, which if we go in the parks, it's usually early around 530 and we go to Disney parks, we go to universal parks, we go anywhere around Florida mm -hmm. and um, we're going to be bringing uh, hopefully you, you along on our journeys as we expand outward. Mm -hmm. um, we had recently moved down to moved to Florida almost two years ago now. And um, we used to live in Massachusetts our whole lives. And so it was a big difference. Yeah. And um, yeah, we've been doing YouTube since 2018. We just have fun with it. Yeah, we just have fun. You know, we do um, our thing. And <laughs> we do our thing. We hang out and we... Uh, it's more like uh, sharing our family videos and just uh, vegging out and yeah. chilling out streams than doing anything yeah. informative. We or met some really good format. friends through our we channel. We some of our best friends so, through YouTube. So it's been a blessing. It's definitely been a blessing. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> We've met some amazing people like you. Um, we have never met in person yet. I know, but we, we need will to change that. Yes, we will. We come on our cruise. I know. I wish we could. We would love to. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we unfortunately canceled all of our 2024 cruises. Uh, we had four booked. One of them was done by Virgin because one of their ships weren't ready, and they changed all their itineraries, excursions. So they canceled our trip until uh, a future date. But the rest of the three, we have to. And, unless we come into some good money somehow, you know, then I did play the lottery that. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but why don't we welcome in all of the explorers? So, um, welcome in. We have Jizzy Nerd Herders. We have Mary Ellen Dillon. More sunshine, please. Can I have some more sunshine, please? And we have Waypoint Explorers, Nancy Fields, Danny the, the Spectacular Supporter. Angela Nemechek, yes, 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 yes. life is good today. Woo! A, B, and that's where we're at so far. So welcome, everybody. So comment if you guys, because there's more um, more people watching than there are comments. So just say hi, hello, and uh, welcome in. Um, we are going to be talking, the thumbnail is the ABCs of Disney. Um, that said, uh, we've never been on the Disney Wish, but the process to getting on a Disney ship the is same. always, it's going to be the same with some tweaks every time though. I mean, every year <clears> they <throat> add things, get rid of doing certain things. Um, but we've been on our first two the cruises dream. were on Disney ship. The dream, the magic. the magic and the fantasy. So the only of the original four we haven't been on is the Disney wonder. Mm -hmm. So, and we don't have any plans going on that one anytime soon, but we would because we want to go on all the Disney ships. Party on the seas! <laughs> Welcome at Welcome. the party! Welcome in, Eric. Uh, <laughs> the Disney Wish is their newest ship, and a Treasure is coming out, and the newly announced Destiny. They are all, the last three ships are the, um, the newest ships of Disney. They're a different class of ship, so they're a little bit bigger. They're a little bit um, longer, taller, not much, like four feet and five feet. Um, yeah, not much. But they are designed differently. So it's going to be a different experience. Streamer Deborah, welcome. Welcome in. So excited for Charlie and Stacy and their family. You guys are going to have an awesome time. And uh, are there any, besides the pirate night, do you know if there's any themed nights? Like, there's no, is that Star Wars or Marvel or anything like that, is it? No. Um, not that we know of, no. and just to give the people in the chat, if they don't know, um, this is, will be our first cruise. So we don't know much about anything in regards to <laughs> cruises. So that's part of the reason why we went with Disney as the first cruise. Um, it's our first cruise. So we're not sure exactly. I don't think we realize the, 
the price shock of the difference between Disney and other ones. So but, might as well get it out of the way now. Though that we're pleasant, we're pleasantly surprised when we go to a cheaper, <laughs> right, cheaper right. cruise later on. Maybe. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't even know that they had a pirate night. I thought that was in relation to the Halloween cruise. Oh no! They got a pirate night, and they have mm -hmm. a pirate menu, and they're the only cruise ship right now that is allowed to set up fireworks at sea. And the actual firework, when it lands in the water, it actually is biodegradable. It turns into fish food for all the fish oh, to yeah. eat. That's cool. Yeah. I agree, Deborah. Disney is definitely worth it. Uh, we will definitely sell Disney yep. again. We want to do a West Coast cruise because right now the Wonder is the only Disney ship which goes through the Panama Canal and comes to the West Coast. Um, but just to quickly summarize, Disney does an amazing job. With translating everything. With everything. your experience in the Disney parks, it's an extension of that. So if you enjoy the Disney park experience, then you're going to love the Disney cruise because they immerse you yep. in it. The little details that <clears throat> you'll find, like from the decor, you're going to find little things here and there. Um, it's like seeing one of the shows at the parks. Uh, there's just so much fun there. And with you guys being avid Disney fans, you're going to love um, the, the service of Disney and just the overall experience of it. I would say try to do the earlier dinner times. So we that, did. okay, so you can make the pirate show and everything. Well, Cause they do have a whole production. We had, we had two uh, options, 5.45 and 8.30. So we picked the 5.45. Okay. Awesome. So just so you know, um, Danny, the thank frozen, you so much. She, uh, for dinner. We have a new supporter. Well, uh, so Danny D. Welcome. Michael and Spoiled Mama, Mama welcome. welcome. <laughs> um, Sliding, so, I'm like. <laughs> so the two show signs are the two times. Um, normally, the younger kids go to the first one. So oh. it's a little boisterous, a little bit more loud. And then oh. more adults, and I won't say adults only, because you're going to have mm. kids in the later ones. You will, because it's a, it's it's a, a cruise. Different, yeah, it's They're a not going to go to bed early, yeah. not all of them. <laughs> yeah, so, um, but the younger kids tend to go to the, first one um but if you go to the later showing it's not going to prevent you from being able to go on uh to see the pirates night because they have two show times like the theater shows um they have they have two show times so one is going to match for the people that go to dinner later there's an earlier showing for the show and then well um and then it's reversed so when those people are then going to dinner the other ones who are already at dinner get to see the show so yeah, I think your sister didn't want to eat at eight thirty. So I think that's why we picked it. Yeah. Yes. Um, a good thing about dinners is that you get the same waiter and waitress basically throughout your whole cruise. They kind of follow you, so um, they they're basically stalking you the whole time through your your cruise. <laughs> but <laughs> they will do anything and everything they possibly can to make your dinner magical. Um, do you guys eat escargot? No. Have you I've ever tried, tried it? it? I've never tried it, so I might. Maybe no. Avery might try it. I would Maybe highly suggest that. you try escargot from Disney. Derek and I tried it, and we were hooked from the beginning. So every night after, we're like, can we ask for escargot? Can we just have escargot every <laughs> night? And they did. it, Except for one night. It, uh, the pirate night. Mm -hmm. Um because if they don't have and if they don't have it at that restaurant, they will literally go to another restaurant that's serving it and bring it back hot and fresh and ready for you. So they do go above and beyond, but that garlic buttery goodness, oh my gosh, it's so good. And, and the bread, you just dip it, dip it in it. It's a snail, yes, but you don't really think about it. I mean, the presentation is beautiful. You the, don't even think about snail. The texture kind of reminds mm -hmm. me of liver. That's, it's like chicken to me. It's really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah it's, we're definitely going to need um, help with the food situation because Sophie's really picky. And we're watching, we're, we get to go to the, it's called the 1923 restaurant. Mm -hmm. And trying to look to see what Sophie can eat was very limited. What is she, does she just have a strict diet herself or? She's just very picky. Oh, okay. They will work with you though. Um, yeah. When you let them, they'll they they will figure out what. Let them know what yeah, you don't, what you want, what you do want. Because yeah. some people eat 
eating like chicken, um, like chicken wings and fries, and that was their yeah. their dinner, and they were getting yeah, it all. Maybe more like her. <laughs> yeah. <Such a> long. <laughs> yeah. Um, welcome, Daniel Fields, and Tiffany. Yeah, and, and John, we're gonna bring our fire pit to put it onto our balcony. We're gonna like. <laughs> Uh, that that <laughs> would be <laughs> John. That would be an awesome um, idea to be able to have a fire pit on there. But with the wind, sometimes I don't think you would have a ship anymore. I don't think it will get through customs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Gary, welcome in. I think you already said that. Yeah. Um, the uh, one of the things, just to as we're probably going to go all over the place as you guys mentioned things. Um, the Disney Wish is unique because the three restaurants they have on there are not on the previous ships. So you're going to have a whole new dining experience. Um, it's a whole new world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the three restaurants you have are going to be, um, it's going to be a dinner show and that is frozen. Um, and then there's a Marvel one that I thought um, Avery might enjoy. Oh, I'm so jealous of you guys. And then the other one is a 1923 restaurant. You won't know which what order. restaurants you're going to go to until you actually get your card. So unless, unless Disney's changed it, because a lot of people are using the bands, um, a lot of cruise company, I don't think Disney's there yet, but um, on your card, it's like a credit card that you put into it. It's like your, they call it your room key. Mm -hmm. It'll give you like three letters. So it might say um, like animators. Mm -hmm. We went on, it will say like a, and then it, um, it, what were some of the other restaurants? Um, uh, it'll it'll give you a first initial of it, and that basically tells you what restaurant you're going to go to. Is it um, initial? We don't find it, that out until the we're day. on. The day we're on there, yes. I mean, I'm so, here. Well, before you before you get on, you, you won't know until you go check in, and they give you your card, and it'll tell you what your rotation. Oh, gosh. Um, Is that the so, check in that's thirty days early? Is that the check in? Your check-in is 30 days early online, mm -hmm. so you can have, send everything in electronically. But when you you won't know your card and and that until you um, actually go in there and pick it up. It's like going to a hotel and getting a room key from them. Okay. That's when you get your card. That's when you're going to know your rotation. The good thing on that though, if you don't like that rotation, you can go to um, mm -hmm. I don't want to say it's guest services, but there's a restaurant you can go to, and you can ask them to change the um the restaurant on there so that is one of the benefits um with you being on a three-night cruise what's going to make it hard is one of your nights which is the second night is going to be your pirates night um the second night the second night because it's only you have a three-night cruise so um your pirate night is when you're in nassau um which is the second day of your cruise um, it, I don't know some of them were saying they didn't have a themed dinner on it, but, um, there's a possibility if that's the case, cause they might've changed things before. Um, the second night was a pirate night. So you had the pirate menu, you could show up to, um, the restaurant in your pirate outfit. And then you, you know, the rest of the night, it's all about being a pirate. Um, and, uh, you lost that experience in that restaurant that night. So you're really going to experience two of the three restaurants that they have. Wow. So as Greg said, it's a rotational one. So your staff will still follow you to the different restaurants. Um, that's one of the downsides of doing a three night cruise, because if you do the four night, then you're going to get a chance to experience all the restaurants the way they're supposed to be. And then you also have a pirate night menu on it too. Unless you can try to maybe do breakfast in one, if they're offering breakfast in one of those um, that you're not going to be able to have dinner. You can at least experience Correct. eating there. We don't find that out until we board the ship and check in and get our car. Correct. That's for your rotational. Yeah, but they will they will work with you and, and change it. Um, Deborah, question for you. You sounds like you've been on the wish. Was the uh, night of the pirates night? Was that also a pirate menu or was that um, something different? Um, or was it a normal dinner night? Um, and then after that was the uh, the pirate show. Jay, Jay Bowen, welcome in, Jay. Welcome. I think because we're mixing this with a little bit of Easter. Oh yeah. You came up with yes. I don't know the name that you came up with. <clears throat> an egg drop margarita. So an egg drop. Yep. Because well, you know I'm how not, you when not... you when you dye your eggs. Oh. Okay. So, 
So yeah. we're we're dyeing our drink here. Be careful it doesn't overflow. Was, was that an egg yolk in there? No. <laughs> no. But why is it called an egg? Because he poured the blue like it's like dyeing an egg. You know when you dye it? Coloring. Okay, okay. You drop your egg into the dye. Can I have <clears throat> Yes, to mix it. <laughs> there you go. I didn't have to. Luckily, I didn't have to mix mine. So, well, mine didn't dilly go dilly. to the bottom. And you, yeah, you, there's no. You didn't, oh, sorry. You no know, dilly dilly or anything. Dilly dilly. dilly, dilly. <laughs> if you notice, there are some hidden Mickey's on this glass. <laughs> They're uh, fruit Mickey Mouse glasses. So some of the fruit is in the shape of Mickey heads. So Deborah was on the four night cruise, which she would have seen the, the whole yeah. thing. BX Journeys, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining oh, us. Oh God. Jay and Luis. Sorry, welcome. What did you put in this? <laughs> <laughs> Can you say what you put in, please? Um, I put in blue curacao, which was the last. There was a lime vodka, and there was also a tequila. Oh boy. And then a margarita, a little room for the margarita mix. Well, a little room? <laughs> So basically, it's just straight out. Oh. There's three shots in there. Uh -huh. <clears throat> is there, is there, do you guys have questions that you want to ask us? Because we don't want to give information that you don't want to know if you want it to be a surprise. Because when you get on the ship, it there's a lot of little, little things that they do that make it very magical. And I don't want to go over stuff like that if you don't want to know so that it's more magical for you. I'm not making a binder. No, I mean, <laughs> she does we, have, we, we do PowerPoint. She does have a bunch of notebook, yeah. We have PowerPoint slides, but they don't go in a binder. <laughs> <laughs> I already got my uh, packing list. And <laughs> but I did yeah. want to ask you a question. So... Well, we have lots of questions. Yeah. Um, we've been watching some of the YouTube um, videos, and I know one of the things that people keep saying to do, bring is metal hooks. And there's metal inside your room. Magnet hooks. Magnet, yeah, magnet metal yeah. hooks. <laughs> that um, so I'm going to order some of those, but is there anything else like that? Like how about like? the charging stations and all that type of stuff. Well, Is there we, things that we should bring that you normally wouldn't think to bring? We'll, she was we'll talking that, about we'll metal explain. hooks, so I that know, might we'll, help. We'll explain that in, okay. in a little second. Um, the, the older Disney ships, we never really had a problem, but we also bought those. Um, we don't, those I think they're those, in the bathroom. One of the yeah, they're the somewhere. ones that have like <laughs> six different, um, like, charging things on there that you okay. could then plug into I'll it. see if I can find um, one. I, the Wish, I'm pretty sure, is just like every other brand new ship. There's a lot, that, like where the beds are, there's going to be the the lights on the side of it, like the wall sconces, and mm -hmm. they have the UB, U, UB points, UB, or whatever they're called. Um, where you can, you can USB. Plug yeah. USB, there you go, thank you. Um, so I would imagine Disney keeping up with everyone else is going to have the same um, the same thing. But um, uh, Jabber says the Wish has many charging areas. A lot of the newer ships, because the technology is, is demands it, um, that they've changed up, or there's a lot more. Pop-up ham pop hampers is what Waypoint suggests. That way you have your clothes in one area. Um, one one of the things that we also would suggest going leading into what you're mentioning about um, organization is join the Facebook group of on um, the cruise that you're going on because there's some things on there that can give you hints if there's special events. One of the fun things that they do that Disney does outside their room, they're called fish <laughs> extenders. Yep. Um, and fish extenders you are. You can make them yourself or order them. Well, the fish extender act is not so much what this is that we'll show, but yes, they're, they're outside the door. And they look like the fish. So whenever Disney has like a note or something they want to give you, they'll put it on the fish extender on there. It looks kind of like a, I don't want to say like a doorknob, but it's basically a fish. It's like a little plaque. Yeah. And it looks like a fish. So what people started doing is they started to make these, what they call fish extenders. With little pockets. And, um, when you join like the Facebook group, you can join like, um, they have different ones that you can do, but um 
you it's part of like a fun game. So you'll have a list of the people once you get like accepted of like different cabins and every day you can bring them treats. It could be candy. It could be little tiny fun things. Mm -hmm. We would do like sometimes like hand sanitizer, mm -hmm. uh, different stuff that was make it fun. We had we ordered some little tiny flashlights with the Disney um, cruise symbol on there. Uh, just some fun stuff. But this is a fun thing to do. And we you get these on uh, Etsy. Um, I don't remember where we got this one, but this is just another fun thing that you can do with the uh, you with also the ordering. you also can get these where you can make you can get magnets at Etsy where you can have them um, personalized so Derek and Gregory and so you have you have the the shirt you have the pants <laughs> and then you have the head and what we do is we usually put it like this yeah because there was state room so circle that is here. the round circle is the head and so okay. this is the queen and then you have the little feet and also the ears <laughs> um it's really fun oh and you cannot forget the little hands <laughs> Um, we have these as well. That was for pirate. We like to change them up. So this yeah. was for Pirates Night. So that's Pirate Night. Oh. So you haven't had any issues of people taking them? I mean, no, the ones that have a name on, I would say no, but the ones that don't. Exactly. Do, on the back, it has the oh. information of who made it. And then it, we put D&G Explorers, Derek and Gregory. So... I mean, we're going to know if somebody took it and, yeah, and right. put it on theirs, but people are pretty, you know, nice about things. That one's kind of cool, really, really cool, actually. Um, and then we got like these we did. We have tons of them. <laughs> but Disney is like this. Is, yeah. So that would be. Ah, nice. Those are nice. Oh, another fun thing we started to do was we um, all the, uh, this was our third Disney cruise. So we number so we them. have. Oh, that's cool. cool. Yeah. yeah, and you just go to Etsy.com and you can tell them where you want sayings and what yeah. saying you want. Um, and this is where I was introduced to this kind of stuff with Disney, which makes it more magical for me because Derek surprised me and was making getting magnets made and stuff. I I had a Tigger one done and I didn't know that you have to print it yourself. So that you paid for them to send you the template and then you print it. So mm -hmm. I printed it, I laminated it and I cut it out myself. It looked really cool. Um, I wanted it that bad because Tigger is probably my favorite <laughs> Disney cartoon character next to Stitch. Yeah. And these are magnetic so that what you were mm -hmm. saying about earlier, these will go in um, mm -hmm. on there and we change them out. So mm -hmm. Pirates Night, we do more of a pirate theme. There's also mm -hmm. one with a Tigger which That's is a statement saying. yeah yeah so there's a lot I mean, of cool stuff this is where we this is where we were introduced to doing this for disney but we've done it on other ships that are non-disney but for me it's just more magical with disney because you could do so much more with a disney ship than you can with a non-disney ship for like magnets and stuff i just think it's more magical for disney deborah says mm -hmm. they never had any issues with people taking them and it's also um mm -hmm. a, you can put them on your fridge after the cruise to remind it so yeah that is a they, good idea they do have now i i guess disney is trying to do away with this but um other cruise lines you're able to um you're able to hide ducks and i guess disney for some reason or another doesn't want ducks being hidden anymore which yeah. bugs my mind because that's something fun for kids to do, especially on a Disney cruise ship. So right. welcome in Adventures of Roxanne. Well, I looked welcome. it up and they said there's two reasons. One, kids might choke on them. Like I've never It's a them. whole duck. Where are they gonna stuff it down their throat? You can't even <laughs> get it in your mouth. And uh two is it's not they don't want you to hide it and and it's not environmentally safe. So I guess if someone throws them over into the water, then it's not environmentally friendly. But, but um, they need to go on top of the water. But, <laughs> yeah, but exactly. you can throw yeah. other things overboard and not be environmentally safe. I still don't understand that reasoning. I'm sorry. That doesn't work for me. Um, hiding ducks is something very fun to do. I know Nurse Nancy, nautical Nurse Nancy, she likes to hide her ducks. 
It's interesting to hear about the unique things with doing a Disney cruise. I do love to decorate our cabins and cabin doors. <clears throat> yes. So these are the ducks. This is an... But you cannot swallow that duck. I know. Try it. That... <laughs> really? So yeah. we have, we have some... Me. These are like the nautical things. I mean, we've on seen there. small yeah. ones. Yeah. 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 Halloween. yeah. Halloween thing. But you can't swallow these ducks. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. biting it and trying to chew it, but I, I don't I don't know. Yeah, but I looked it up and Disney says they don't forbid it, but they don't want you to hide anything on the ship, <laughs> like in your stateroom. And what a uh, how how well, I've heard that they were taking them away. Like, if they find them, they take them away so people can't find them, which I don't is know. ridiculous. But the game is there's a Facebook group on it, and you can order stuff, um, and you take a picture of where you found it, and then you post it on the website. We, trying to promote our channel, we just put, <laughs> That's one, what it's we put for. our business yes. card and put and a little we, oh, string yeah. around it to attach them together. And we even have a QR code on the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so fun. Like, when we were on the Virgin Cruise, it was so fun to hide them. And then we would like walk away and we'd look and you could see people go and actually pick them up and take them with you. We're like, yes, it's working. So, yeah. you know, they, they go yeah. duck hunting basically. And we don't make it hard to, you just put them out around where you can easily see them, yeah. you know, most of the time. But we let every cruise, we're always looking for ducks. Um, is there, is there, do you have other questions that you want to ask I that do. we I don't want to say something that you don't want yeah. to know. Yeah, we have, again, um, and again, and hopefully it doesn't get to become too much. But oh some easy God. questions, though. Easy, easy. It's like, like we're driving in. Okay, we're going to be driving from our house over to Cape Canaveral. Is it pretty obvious where to go, where to park, and how to get over to the boat? And When, you, when you're coming up, um, you're going to see the um, – You'll there's like a little bridge that you go over. And you're going to see the Disney ships out in the distance. So, and that's a couple of miles from getting to the cruise port. And then they should be, you, uh, you, I mean, I can help you with it. We always figure out what cruise port they're going to be sailing from. But when you get there, it's going to tell you like Disney um, wish. It's going to tell you which one to, to go to. So that, that be kind of like um, the airport, you know, Terminal B. They have the signs yeah. to go there, you know. Must be. Yeah. I would hope that they would have stuff like that. Yeah, Port Canaveral is a pretty easy port to get into, um, so I don't think you're going to have any issues. And that's a really cool. Um, it's a really cool port to uh, their Disney port because it's exclusively just for them. Um, I like that terminal, so that'd be fun to to do. When you see the ship, don't be surprised if you weep a little bit because it's going to get emotional and magical really fast, especially on your first cruise. Seeing that ship will hit you, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'll be surprised if it doesn't. So Deborah says um, they guided um, them each step of the way at the terminal. So um, you, that will be very easy. It's always when you're not sure where you need to go, it's always nerve wracking. Mm -hmm. You do have through security when you first get there it's similar to an airport security but a lot your bags just basically go on there and you're done it's not like you're like feel like you're being inter interrogated in i um, heard you can't bring any liquids whatsoever um you can bring some you can bring mm -hmm. wine the wine the but like, like i can't get you know, I liquids on a plane it was kind of like the, is it the same rules um I so different cruise lines do different things, and I'm trying to remember Disney. I thought David brought Dr. Pepper on with him. Um, uh, soda package is going to be included on your. You get soda automatically. A lot of cruise lines will charge if you want to get soda. Bottle, Disney doesn't. It's included in water, the water. You do have to pay yes. for it. Um, but well, I don't believe you're allowed to take bottled water in because people might try to switch it out with vodka or something um but i thought you well let's take not get into that because there's soda. other things people do yeah i'll, I'll have to <laughs> not find out. judging i'll have to find out um with the soda one for you guys but um because it can change but i thought disney allowed i thought our friends brought soda in with them so with it just being a three-day cruise we were thinking about each of us bringing in uh, a, a smaller carry-on carry -on case 
but can you speak to maybe is there a better is it better to bring one big case and have them check it and or, or is it you think it's easier is it room to put four because usually, usually, you know, you're afraid of the airlines losing your case. Yeah. The, um, if you're if you're able to pack and get everything you need in a smaller carry-on, I would say to do that. Now, the one thing that you'll have to do is when you first get on the ship, you might be able to, um, when you do your online check-in, you're going to be able to book what port time you're going to be able to go there. Um, mm -hmm. So that say just say 10 o'clock in the morning, and I, I'm not sure what time they'll have available. Um, that it might say 10 o'clock, but you might not be able to get into your rooms until like 1 30. So if that's the case, that means you're going to be carrying your carry yeah. on around the ship with you. So that's the downside of um, not checking your, your luggage, you'll be lugging it um, around depending what you have in there. Yeah, um, but if you do decide to do check in your luggage, you might not get your luggage until like five o'clock that night. So it just depends on how quick they can process it into your your room. Yeah. Not that that's an issue. We've never, had, we've never had that issue, but we've heard some people didn't get their luggage until the next day just because of the mix-up. We normally, when we get on the ships, we usually will look around. Like it was just Derek and I, and we're not like on a group cruise or anything. We'll get on the ship. We'll look around a little bit, depending on how, Sorry. depending on which cruise it is. Um, her nails like went right. In. <laughs> Depending on what cruise it is, um, you might want to, you know, book things in advance really quick. But with a Disney cruise, there's none of that that you have to worry about. So with Disney, we would just go to the buffet, you know, and get something to eat and just sit and relax and just wait until we're able to put our stuff in the room. And then you're free to walk around without having to lug everything. Um, that's just what we normally do. Or we'll go around, you know, the lobby area and, and look at the different things. Because there's a lot of detail that you're going to see in a Disney cruise ship. Have you had any issues with um, space in regards to, like, your clothes? Like, are they regular bureaus or are they more like slots? On they have, um, with, well, is there going to be four people in your room? Mm -hmm. So you're, you might have a little bit of a tight space, which is where a lot of people now do like the, like what you mentioned about the wall magnets. Well, how big is their room? Well, is there's going to be four of them. Is it a, They're in a family room, but oh. it's still, um, but the space for storage, you, you have like two big cabinet, like cupboard cabinets. So when you open them up, you'll have like, um, your, um, life jacket to be in there. You have a safe in part of it, um, and then they will have like hang stuff for you to hang, as well as some shelves. You in there. can put your suitcase under your bed too, because yes. the beds are oh, raised yeah. up so much that you can just slide your suitcase underneath. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, but well, I saw it, that on YouTube, people were getting these special things, and they would stack them, so they weren't using suitcases. It was like just like individual bags or something yeah like yeah. room saver type things yeah you could do those as well and, and i don't know how strong the magnet is if you're hanging those up if it's not that strong and the magnet's just going to slide right down the wall but and daniel's right space on a three-day cruise you should be fine um but with you having four then that might make it you might have to get a little bit creative in there or they have those collapsible um like cabinet things that you can take with you and they're, they're um, travel safe and everything and they collapse. So they pull open like a cupboard from what I've seen. And then you can collapse them and then just put them in your suitcase. Well, and also you should have a split bathroom, which is unique to a lot of the, the Disney mm -hmm. ships. Um, the split bathroom will have the shower and in, in one and the toilet in the other. That way, Someone can be um, taking a shower where the, uh, in the next room someone's going to be putting on their makeup or getting ready um, so you don't have just one room with um, things being blocked up. Uh, so that's one of the cool things. And uh, not all the rooms have that on a Disney ship. But it's like the inside. some of the inside cabins don't have that option. But you guys have a veranda, which is the balcony, and you should have the split um, bathroom. So that should work out for you too. Um, 
Dreamer Deborah said that they pack their swimsuits so they go and eat and then they go right to the pool after and and just wait for the room to be ready. They also said that you can tour the kids area, which they do have an open house before yes. they set sail. So you can go into the kids area, you can see what's to offer there. Um, you can do a tour of the ship because once the cruise actually starts, the kids only area is just for kids. Adults aren't allowed. So I don't think it's very fair because I've seen all the fun stuff that kids have, <laughs> all the games and stuff. I'm like, what? Where is ours? <laughs> we just get a quiet area for the adults. <laughs> when when um, the first trip Greg and I went on was a three night Disney cruise. And when we got done with it and we went home and then we started looking more about the dream and trying to find information about it. I was like, I don't, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. So the, the biggest <laughs> thing that I the way is try your best to see as much of the ship as you can. Obviously you're, you're on vacation. Um, so you're going to want to enjoy it. Take but, it all in like a sponge. Basically. Yeah. Um, <laughs> try to see as much as you can. And um, I don't have it here but i don't know why i don't have it i thought i had them did you have some other questions yes we did um lots of them but uh, one, of the, one of the reasons why we're doing this again this is our first cruise so we're also trying to see if we're ever gonna how, how sick or not sick we're gonna get because if we're not sick with these with this cruise then it's going then we're going to start branching out and doing more cruises elsewhere like the mediterranean norway alaska that type of thing where we get to see countries as well so this is also a test cruise in that regard we're hoping not going to be uh hoping we can handle cruising because it will open up a brand new mm -hmm. uh, avenue for us to explore the different things that we want to go see yeah but, i <clears throat> i i get very I get motion sickness very bad. Um, and I, my thing is, is actually one of these. Um, this Make is, sure the pressure this, points yeah. on the inside, not this like is, Derek did one time and had it on the outside. Didn't do him any good. This is the, <laughs> this is the C band and it hits a pressure point here and it's supposed to help you with the, um, the motion. You're supposed to have them on two hands. Um, I don't know what I did with the other one. It, it might be psychological. I, for me, I don't know if it makes a difference for me. I, I tried using them and I don't use them anymore. I just take a Dramamine and that seems to work fine for me. And I know you have the patches. I do my, I take the Dramamine the day before we travel. Yeah. Because it's when the system. um yes it's in your system because if you wait to try to do it the first night one it's going to take a couple of hours to do it and there you're in that mode of excitement and wanting to explore that is which is what i did on the first time i went on the cruise i forgot to take the pill and it was too late i was throwing up um the first time i went on a cruise so i take it the night before i take it at night because sometimes it can still make people sleepy even if you buy the non-drowsy one yeah. and you can sleep when you have it. So you're not taking it in the morning and being half asleep through the, the whole day. This, this. Oh, go ahead. What is the name of the band? So if I wanted to get those, what are they C called? They're C bands. S -E like, okay. C bands. You shouldn't get seasick um, as long as you're taking those precautions and also, the the ship's not going to rock too much unless you're in bad seawater, like the swell, like there's big swells or something like that. But the ships are usually pretty good with trying to advert those types of those scenarios yeah, and they, areas of the of the sea. They have stabilization on there. Yeah, but even with that, sometimes you do feel. We've been on ships where you're walking and then woo, you're veering to the right, and then you're going to the left and oh, then to the right. So, I mean, it's not, it's not like to the point where you're listing 90 degrees or anything, but. 90 uh, degrees, you, you'd be flipped over. I, <laughs> well, well you're, it's not where you're listing, basically, mm -hmm. but you are, you know, moving a little back and forth as you're walking. It's, mm -hmm. You're not going in a straight That's line true. sometimes, but you should be okay. I, I don't think the cruise will be rough. So my next question, um, which I can't find much about. So recommended excursions for NASA and oops, uh, the uh, Castaway, Castaway, Castaway Cay. 
K, yeah. So uh, that's I would, fun. That's Na a fun day. Nassau is probably one of the least. Um, it, a lot of people don't like it. Greg doesn't like Nassau, but it's just because I've we've been there a lot. But for you guys, it'll be different and new. You might like it. So yeah, it's one of those that they always say one to be careful. Whenever you go to a foreign port, you should always be aware of your your surroundings. Um, you can walk to the Queen Steps, which was, um, it's like a, basically a mountain and steps were up into it. And then when you, mm -hmm. when you walk up it, there's a huge water tower that you used to be able to walk up that tower, but now they close it off. But at the top there, there's a, um, it's called Fort Finn Castle, um, mm -hmm. where it's like the highest point on the island. And you can look back into the, the Bay Area and mm -hmm. see all the different ships in port. Um, so that's a pretty cool um, what are you doing, bud? Oh, I was trying to hide it. Sorry. Um, so um, that is a cool thing. If you've never done that, that's a cool thing to check out because the Queen Steps, it's been around for, for years. Um, if just as an awareness, if someone starts telling you about the history of it and they walk you through it, they're expecting a tip at the end of it. Um, so just but give a heads up on that. What's Dreamer that? Deborah's right. You are on such a short cruise. Enjoy the ship on NASA day. They walked into NASA for a couple hours and then came back and had fun on the ship. Um, yeah, that's what my sister's recommending. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> there's a there's a Senor Frogs. It's like right there when you get off the ship. That's probably the most fun place. It's a restaurant. And they have, you know, live music normally. They make it fun. And they have these seats that you sit down. They're different animal butts. So it makes you look like you have an animal butt when you sit down and stuff. So, um, you know, Avery might think that's funny or, you know, something like that. But um, it's a loud place. It is a loud place, too. So I don't know if that's good or bad. Yeah, you could. Um, they have they I don't know if it's built yet, but they were redesigning the port area. So um, I don't know if that's completed yet. So if it is, then that's a good area to just hang out at the port. Um, Castaway Key, amazing. That's, uh, I think, of the private mm -hmm. islands we've been to so far. That's been my favorite island. Um, I definitely would um, recommend going over to their adult-only um, island uh, beach. So um, what you do is when you get there, you're going to get on a tram. They look like the very old Disney trams, um, but what you're going to do is um, there's two trams. One takes you, when you pretty much get off the ship, you have to walk to it, but then it takes you to halfway on the island, and you get off that, and then you get on another tram, which will take you, there's like an airline that, um, that'll that take you down, and at the end of that airline is where the, um, the, the adult beach is. Um, they have their <coughs> own buffet for um, adults, and then when you go on the beach, right? mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you go on to um, that part, um, we've done a couple of vlogs on it. Um, it's the beach is beautiful. Um, the family area is fun because they have a lot of. Ow, your nails are so long. Sorry, not um, mine. The cats. <laughs> yes, um, they have. The family area is fun because they have an area where they have like submerged Mickey or Minnie statues, things like you that. Snorkel. You can snorkel. Um, they have slides and stuff for kids. Have you and done a stingray thing? They have. They a do have yeah. a stingray experience. Yep. You have you done that? These? Uh, no, oh, no. We did the snorkeling, and I'm terrified of sharks. <laughs> and Greg said something big just went right by you. <laughs> I said, Thank you so much, Greg. That is not the time Doesn't for you to be mean it was a shark. I don't know what it was, but <laughs> I. I in the adult area, I walked out and you can like see starfish and all these beautiful fish. The water is crystal clear, it's like glass, you can see right through it. Wasn't Mark on a date? I thought he what? said he was on a date. Yeah, date, date, Mark. date yeah. Okay, there you go. Um, what other questions did you have? Um, so our room has, I think, a queen bed, the couch that flips into a bed. And then there's two pull downs. Do they come and do that in your room or do we do all that? And do we they have should, to leave? They should do turndown service yeah, they type do stuff for, for that kind of thing, I would think. 
We've never used those like a Murphy bed type thing. We've never mm -hmm. done those. Oh, <laughs> Mark said they ate fast. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us, yes. but you didn't have to eat fast. <laughs> so the water is beautiful. Wow, cool. So they have, let me see, I don't know what it's called. Will you you have to do the safety thing? Mustard drill. It's a mustard drill. Yep. Mustard drill. How how is that? I'm just worried with Avery. Like, is it um I, I, or yeah, I don't they have a video. Well, I don't know how Disney does it because every cruise line does it different. And we went on Disney pre-COVID. So Disney might do it a little bit different. Deborah, I'm not sure you went on the witch, so um you might be better to um discuss what you're supposed to do, but um, in a lot of cases, they'll assign you to a certain area where everyone has to meet up. In some spots, it's outside, so you're standing. In some spots, you're in a restaurant. Um, the um, so and it's so you have to watch it, but everyone has to participate and show up and get approved to be on it. Otherwise, um, it holds everybody hold, up. Yeah, you have to do it. Otherwise, you can't. So. Norm, I think with Disney, they used to have a video that you'd watch and you would have you'd have to show up to like section A or B or C, whatever the letter is that you have to go to. And they just scan your card and then you're checked in and then you go on your way. And I would probably get that done as fast as you can, just so that you get it out of the way. Um, it doesn't, you know, you're you're not holding anybody up if anyone else you know, someone else is holding everything up, but um, eventually they might even start calling names on the intercoms. <laughs> Deborah says we were assigned to a hallway area and just checked in. Part of what we watched was a video. Okay. <clears throat> it's very fast. It's yeah, very and, fast. And I would recommend doing that as one of the first things mm -hmm. um, to get it out the way. That way you can do other stuff. I wish all cruise lines would mandate that that you have to do that first before any alcohol is served, before any fun <laughs> <is done>. <laughs> so <laughs> that everybody does it, and then the fun begins. Yeah, Carnival was horrible on the Radiance. They they kept on calling passengers, so yep. it was crazy. What other questions do you have? Uh, let's see. I was. I heard that people are suggesting that you have a lanyard for the. You can. Your Is that like what do you guys do? You just. You, you can have a lanyard because they do pin trading, and you can buy pins on the ship, and um, you can stick them on your lanyard as well. So. I have the lanyard. I have. Um, I didn't think of getting it. It's a Velcro one, so it's almost like a wallet. So the, on the outside of it, you can see the, the room card and that. Mm -hmm. um, but on the inside, I could put money into oh, that. Okay. So, um, and I bought that when I was on the Disney ship. It's fine, but I'm just like, all right. Deborah had a lanyard. It worked out for her. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. personally don't like having stuff around my neck constantly. I We do collect Disney lanyards and stick our pins on them, but... Um, I'll wear like specialty ones if it's like Halloween or something at the parks. I'll wear it. But other than that, I don't like to constantly wear lanyards around did, my neck. Did we say hi to yeah. Ben? At Pepper I, Tree I waved. Welcome in, boys. Pepper I, Tree Bell. I've heard that you can also use Disney Plus bands to like get into your room and stuff like that. I hope so. Do you think that would replace the card you guys are talking about? Or is the card something that it's we been definitely been need? So long, if, if so Disney. Cruise is doing that now, then it should replace everything. Because the um, Deb, the Jim or Deborah would know that. Yeah, more. Um, the Princess Cruise Line they have the the medallion, and it's basically like the Disney Parks band, um, and that's your wallet. That's everything. Um, you can order drinks, and they'll know where you're at. I don't know if, if they have it. If Disney's is that sophisticated, but um, Deborah says they found an, uh, the lanyard um, looked like a necklace on Amazon. So. I'm not sure if that's the case then um, if they have it. It might be where you can buy additionally like the parks. If not, you have the, the card. We are speaking of wallets and we're talking about going to ports. Please don't put your wallet in your back pocket. <laughs> I tell Derek that all the time. I would highly suggest putting it in your front pocket because there are pickpocketers out there. 
and they are very good at what they do and you will never know the difference. You won't mm -hmm. feel it. So, um, and with you, with your purse, if you have a purse or a fanny pack, the fanny packs are still used. I know it's an eighties thing, but they're still used. I don't think they call them fanny packs anymore. I call them fanny packs, but I mean, just keep your purse or your belongings close by, um, because they, there are professional scammers out there, but still have fun. You know, I'm not trying to scare you or anything. Mm -hmm. So I, we saw that there's like a tip, I don't know, not a tip program, like. Gratuity? Yeah, like, is That's that a, part of the package? Prepaid when tips. You, like, is there, yeah. I thought you, I heard you someone have, say prepaid, yeah. and then there's things that's outside of that. You, um, you have, um, it, you can do it beforehand, and it'll tell you like per person, per cabin, it's. Um, they basically charge you per day, a little bit every day. Um, it's not always just for the person that you're dealing with. It's for other people behind the scenes, too, that kind of get, like, a share of it. But you can um, also tip individuals want, at, um, but, towards the end if you want to. So you can you have a choice of doing it before you go on the cruise. You can um, If you don't do that, then you'll get a slip in there, and you can give it to them, like, put it in an envelope. Um, they'll give you like the envelope and a little slip that says how much, and you can give that directly to um, the people like the maitre d, your mm -hmm. your servers. Um, you can give it directly to to them. If there's someone special that you have a create like a connection with your server or something, and you want to give them a little extra, mm -hmm. I think they have little envelopes that you can do that. Just, just, uh, um, oh, you said the envelope yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you okay. you tip the porters, especially if they're taking your luggage when you get to port. That's not included, so you tip them. That way, you're verifying that you're actually going to get your luggage, <laughs> and they don't like get upset because you didn't tip them. Um, and that's usually a, like a couple of dollars everyone does something. it. Yeah, some people it's do five dollars per whatever. bag. Some people do two dollars per bag. Some people whatever do a dollar bag. Do. Yeah, yeah, I was going to ask if there's like a, a certain amount that is. It's whatever you feel comfortable yeah. doing. Yeah. Like a, it's a, there's no unspoken rule about it and i mean even if like if you get an alcoholic drink it's a part, part of the trade no matter what cruise line if you tip someone like a, the bartender like say you give them 20 dollars, then they'll make sure you're taken care of and they'll constantly come back um for you i'm hearing there's a 24-hour room service yes there is Anything so or is there a limited menu three like in the after morning. midnight? Or, Can you give me some chocolate ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> you can ice cream and pizza at three in the morning. You can, yes, there's I mean it's not a full like a buffet where you can you know order everything, but there's there's a menu. Um they should still have the, the Mickey ice creams, the <laughs> premium bars. It's, yeah, but the is there a menu on in like a paper menu in the rooms or is it something yeah. you really get off? Yeah, the and app? it should be in the app too. Oh, there's okay. Yeah, there's also some things if you want to make your stay more magical or surprise people, you can order things before the cruise to have stuff sent to your room. There's decorations you can do. There's cakes. There's treats. What are you doing with her? Oh, sure. we should probably because um, my mo my mother is going on her Jimmy there um, in in the room with my brother and sister. Um, her first cruise since like 1959. Oh yeah, that'd be cool to yeah, We got this is just part of it, but these are the when we went on the Star Wars Day at Sea. It's magnetic. Is, these are just some of the I mean, this looks like pretty sad right now what I pulled out. <laughs> but they you can order decorations. So if it's like the first one, like bond bond bond. Oh, right. sort of yeah, so there's different things that you can do. Um when you guys check in, um your online check-in, you should be able to do it at midnight. Um, the day that like your window when it opens, which is 75 days, um, that's when you'll choose your port time. That's when you can also start booking your excursions activities on there. So there's characters that you can book. And those ones, if you don't book those characters, then you won't be able to get in line because they're trying to keep the line processed. They will, in addition to that, have other characters that you don't need to make reservations for, but they'll be all in that list. Um, if you want to do uh, the there's two adult only dining rooms. Um, they're they're Beauty and the Beast themed. Um, one is um, Palo the Steakhouse. Um, we love yeah, Palo. It's really, nice. it's um, a little upcharge, but it's worth it. Yeah, and then uh, on the Wish, it's called Enchante. 
Um, one is themed after Cogsworth, which is uh, Paolo, and then Lumiere. Lumiere is the theme of the and Enchante. Um, that one was, I'm sure it's going to be really expensive because the other ones on the Wish, which was, I forgot the name of it, but it's like over a hundred bucks. So I would imagine <clears throat> Enchante is going to be really expensive. I think you can watch football games. Yeah. I know they showed the Super Bowl yeah. on the last Disney they, cruise we were on. They have sports bars there on the ship. They have bars on the ship where they would they would definitely show that. Um, I see. One of my questions also is, is the um, internet. They have internet packages. Yeah, is it worth it? Well, we, we're planning on doing like our... our morning coffee talk live streams yeah. or something like that. I yeah. never have gotten internet. Derek's gotten internet I've, before. I've, unless Disney's newest ship has improved, I found Disney had one of the worst internet packages. We went live because mm -hmm. um, um, you figure if you're in land, you should still be able to go live. We did that yeah. from I don't know if we were in Miami or Key West. We ended up deleting it because uh, it was such a poor reception. Oh, on really? there. So um, I don't know if that's um, Disney. Thirty dollars a day, I think, for the yeah. show. Wow. Yeah. Our experience. That's not a charge I would pay yeah, personally myself. Yeah, I mean, technology has always improved, and the Wish is a new ship, so they, you would imagine they have the newest upgrades in that. Yeah. Um, we just on new the Fantasy and the other ones. We did not have good experience with it. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Anything else, dude? Uh, it's like it's best I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, you're we, good. We're not in a rush. I know the ship show usually starts up now, but we're not in any and rush. Anyone, so if you wanna, have, anyone wants to stay um, we and thank listen. you. Yep. And if you leave, we thank you for watching. So I heard that the merchandise store does not open until. They're in international waters. Is that true? Yeah. Yes. So they, they can't until yes. they're in international waters. Correct. Um, and that's the law, the legal of Their selling law, something. Yeah. So um, you have to wait. Um, or just liquor stores. All stores. Yes. All, stores. Yes. all stores. All the stores. Merch. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, just if, like if the casinos you, on casino ships, they can't play casinos uh, until. Yeah, I kind of seen that. Yeah. Like, um, so when, when would that be? Like, what time? You you'll probably <laughs> sail away around um, four thirty, um, and maybe by six thirty seven is probably when they'll start opening the the air show <laughs> on there. And you can just go in. You don't have to book time slots or anything like that. Oh, right? you just go in. Now, do you think we should tell <laughs> them that every special needs, or does if, that? If, if you people? need, if you need any special accommodation that you think you're going to need, I would do it just so they're prepared. Like I'm just thinking, like the beds. We're just gonna, we anything. might need that for a specific time. You, you, you know. Just in yeah. case anything happens. It's your discretion if you feel comfortable telling them or you think you should tell them, then I would tell them. I'm yeah. just wondering, you know, worst case scenario, you know, did you ever come across a lot of people, passengers, like maybe the 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 autism, uh, maybe they're wearing autism shirts or something like that, where it's uh, if some reason we sink or something to try and make it easier or something like that. It's just like, is, is that something, a concern or is it like, uh, do you, have you never seen anyone wearing any type of autism? I've, I've never seen that, but God forbid that happens. I'm sure anybody in their right mind would be more than willing to help you at that point. Yeah. But well, if, yeah, I'm saying is it usually, mm -hmm. is it, are people advertising it? I don't think I've seen that. No, I, I know what you mean, but I, yeah, I don't we think thinking of, we weren't thinking of it, but he does have some stuff that's hot to more. We can put mm. like a magnet on the door or something like that, like we have on the car. But it's, you could. It's, is that even you could do that if you want to, and then you could even put it on your record. Like before you go into on the ship, you can ask them, you know, put it in your. For them to document it, just so that the ship knows in case something happens. Yeah, I would imagine they're going to want to know. 
they, I would imagine they're going to want to know if there's something that, yeah, what they can do to, to help out. Like a medical issue. Not that that's a medical issue, but I'm just saying it. Any medical issues or dietary restrictions, anything that you feel that they should know, that's when you'd want to tell them. Thank you, Mark. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I had a couple Thank more. You. Did you find the ship cold? Um, yes. Um, and that's a good thing you said that. Um, it depends what time of day. Um, at night, it always seems to be cold, and they recommend wearing like a um, like a sweater or if you're in the a, Caribbean, a, even at night because it's windy at times on oh. on deck. But we always and leave if, our door open because we, we like do, to hear the waves but, and everything. <laughs> but it's the way the air funnels across the ship that it can yeah. be very windy. So say oh. you wanted to, say you want to watch a movie on the the pool deck because they'll show it on the big old screen up there. Yeah. Um, um, they have you can watch the movies in different spots, but if you go up there, it can get very windy and, and cold. Um, yeah. But uh, we notice at night, like in the restaurants, a lot of people will wear something a little bit not like parka jacket. It's nothing like that, but like a so light sweater. Have AC and stuff. Then it's like going to be cool. That's another or whatever. Okay, yeah, that's so. another thing for safety, especially um, with Avery. If the ship is moving and you have your sliding glass door open, don't open your other door until you close it because you'll create a suction wind tunnel. Mm -hmm. Everything will fly, but then also that door will slam so fast. Yes. If and someone's in the way, they could lose fingers or he, something. He's talking about no. the, your front your um, cabin door. door. Yeah. Yep. If you have the sliding glass door, and you open up the cabin door, it creates a suction wind tunnel so fast you don't even, it's just crazy. It kind of happens with our house now. Yeah, so. we have that. You have to be real careful. Deborah was mm -hmm. asking if there a bracelet that Avery could wear. Yeah, we're getting bands though, right? You're getting the autism band? Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna do, do that. I'm gonna do an, you know, he, those little he, rubber he, elastic he's, he's bands. He's got the medical have. autism band. He has the medical band that tells us. Yeah. Oh, one of the cool things that we like to collect on the oh, ship. Yeah. This is um, little statues of the lobby statue. Yeah, this is in the lobby. Um, this was on, this one was on the Dream, the Disney Dream. Um, there's Minnie Mouse on, and we also have the um, Mickey Minnie Mouse. Mouse is from uh, <laughs> and Ariel. Fantasy. Yeah, and then um, Mickey is the from the Magic, and then Ariel is the Wonder. On the Wonder. So these are kind of cool. In addition to we the ships. Yeah. So those are just kind of fun things. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, because it's going to be our first cruise. So, yeah, gonna, thinking about – so, so if we're going to start merch. doing, like uh, – Disney has a best shop. Each yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. yeah. I think like, you, can, you can order merch ahead of time, I heard, as well. There's some. Lot, but <laughs> you'll, you'll be <laughs> amazed on um, – Disney does the best of selling stuff mm -hmm. because they have two shops that um, one is called main Cell, and I think it's the same on the, on the wish. And then there's another one and there's a lot of cool clothes that you won't find off ship. Um, Cause they're they specific have, to the crew yeah. like these, like they're specific to the cruise line yeah. when you're at castaway key, that merchandise, the clothing and towels, that's mm -hmm. all just for castaway mm -hmm. key. Yeah. 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 That's true too. Yep. So there's shops for like jewelry. There's shops for watches, which they have on all the cruise lines. Um, but we found Disney has the best. Um, we really love the merchandise shops. It's like going to a park, like the Emporium or something like that. Did, have, have you seen things be like sold out? They've sold out certain things, yeah. Yeah. It's hard for them to replace them because you're in one. They have to <laughs> wait to get back. Yeah. Like yeah. the statues or the ships, those are the things that we like to collect. Um, there's so much clothes out there that, and we have a lot of Disney clothes. We don't really necessarily need a lot of that, mm -hmm. but we did buy this. Um, I don't know where it's at, but it's a big picture of all the ships at that time of the Disney ships, and we would ask the captain to sign by that ship that oh, they cool. were uh, doing. Excuse me. And so once we complete it, we can have it up and frame. That's awesome. Um, yeah, it 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 just <laughs> we, when we bring it on the plane, we have to make sure that we package it like nicely and everything, so it doesn't get bent and stuff. So mm -hmm. we have to do the Disney Dream again 
to get that captain's signature because we're missing that one because we didn't start it until the magic. So we got the magic and the fantasy. Now we still got to do the dream again and, and then the wonder. wonder. Um, and they'll probably have another picture with all of them, right. including the newer ones later too, <laughs> but we'll just <laughs> stick with what we got. Pepper Tree Villa said the cast members at the shops knew our stateroom number from memory. <laughs> <laughs> so do they have any special things like dinners with the captain or they have a signing with the captain? Yeah. You yeah. can meet the captain. Oh but, really? Yeah, we if they have dinners with the captain, we weren't special enough to, to I've be invited. never heard of it, but when you wouldn't think it, but when they do captain signings, you want to get in line early because that line gets long fast for the captain. Really? The you wouldn't think it, but it happens. Yeah. Huh. Um, the the one thing to check, um, you should still get a paper of the personal navigator, which is mm -hmm. their um, – it's the um, – kind of the daily activities of what's going on. And you will find when you look at the list, you, you'll get them the night before. If not, you'll be able to go down to guest services and pick a copy up there. But they let you know the night before of what's going on the next day. There's Because those are good you're going to have too. like over 3,000 passengers on the ship. Um, and you'll find that, oh, I want to do that. And it's at the same time of something else. You gotta so you kind of have to pick and choose where you want to go. Um, yeah. Some people, when they cruise... They don't want to do that. They just want to enjoy the ship. Some people want to see as oh. much as as they can, but um, it's going to be on your app. But you should also still be able to get the the paper ones. Those are the ones I collect. Why it's not in my binder here, I don't know. But there, oh. um, there's also, um, and I'll tell you guys offline. But there's, oh, um, <laughs> it's, it's the Disney. All I heard was you say you're going to tell you guys off. I'm no. like, wait, what? <laughs> it's called the Disney Cruise Blog. It's a website. And through that, you can pull up personal navigators to kind of get an idea of um, what your itinerary is and what could be offered on the Disney Wish, like from the food, from um, the restaurant, like the drink of the day, because they have an alcoholic drink of the day and a non-alcoholic drink of the day, um, depending on the theme of what's going on. So there's... There's just so much information in that and really diving into that, I think is going to be helpful, at least being aware of what's there. Oh, Deborah yeah. brought up a point about movie theaters. I was going to say that. There's two movie You beat theaters. me to it. There's two movie <laughs> theaters on the Disney Wish, um, and they're like a theater that you would go to with the stadium They show the new that. movies yes. and, you know, Disney movies and mm -hmm. some of the other movies that are out. Um, they have popcorn. I think it's like $5 buy, a bag yeah. or something like that. How about um, restrictions? Do you know, what if I'm up at four and I can't sleep? Can I walk around the ship at four you in the morning? You, yep. you have to have banging on people's doors. Is the food open 24 hours or? No. You, no. you have to make sure your clothes are on. Oh my so gosh, really? Derek. But <laughs> you know some experience, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, he, I, I locked him out of the room purposely. Yeah. The, <laughs> the, um, the buffet opens pretty early. Um, and it's usually around 6 a.m. Um, sometimes on some cruise lines, they have like a pre-buffet, like where you can get your coffee in that. And then they have like the later buffet. Um, but you'll have your um, your 24 hours. Your 24 hours will be the um, the room, room service. service. Yeah. Okay. So you have to call them and have the room. I mean, we've walked the ships late at night, like not four in the morning, but like late at night and they're like hosing down everything. So, I mean, they don't mind, but they might have certain areas blocked off just to clean the ship at nighttime. But mm -hmm. um, about the, um, the exercise room, but yeah, they have a gym there, too. Yep. Yeah, is it open, open all the time? 24 hours? No, or? I don't think no. so. They have a gym and they should have a walking track around the cruise ship, too. They do. Okay. They'll, you're, the um, the cool thing on there is, is called, I think it's the Aqueduct or maybe the Aquacoaster. Oh, yes. That's and, and fun. This Aquamouse. one is different. Aquamouse. Aquamouse. Yeah. 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 And this one's cool because they have like the tunnel of it. Yeah. And they have, you're watching Disney cartoons as you're going. Yeah. Down. I'm so jealous of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> We'll try to vlog the heck out of it. So yeah, right. we never got to do that. We did the aqueduct on the Disney Dream. No, the Fantasy. No, yeah, the Dream. Because the Dream and the Fantasy are the two big ones. 
Um, and now the wish is big too. It's bigger, yeah. But well, obviously you had the go karts like I saw you guys doing. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, that's on, that's on NCL. But it's they good. do have fun play areas for the kids, like the water area, the water park area, and stuff like that for the kids. So that would be fun, I'm sure, if Avery likes that kind of thing. And yes, it's a, it's a, um, you're going in the summer, so there's going to be a lot of kids. Mm. But they do have an adult. But it's Disney. They have the adults only area. So yeah. on on the top deck, I think it's on deck twelve on the on the wish. Um, there is an area specifically just for over eighteen. Um, no, they have not that we really consider adults because Sophie's nineteen. Sophie's yes. going to be twenty, well, by the time. Be 20 and, and Amy's twenty three. So it's right. like I don't think they're even going to be allowed anywhere near the kids. It's section. kind of well, boring though. Right so away, there's an eighteen to twenty year old section supposedly. The so adult it, area is just kind of boring though because it's just so quiet. That's and you, and the you, whole point. I know, it. but I'd rather be doing the fun stuff. I'd be like, "Where's the games and stuff? This isn't fair. All the kids have the fun stuff, and we're just sitting here." Uh, you know, just being quiet. I feel like I'm an outside library or something. They do have, <laughs> um, it's called the Cove Cafe, I believe. Um, it's a, it's where you can get the Starbucks type drink. It is something Ooh, you have. That to, well, they don't have a Starbucks on, they don't have a mixed Starbucks. Coffee. That's, all that's what I'm all about. Yeah. yeah so that's where that's the, best, one, right? you, you'll, you'll be able to get the uh, coffee on in the buffet. But the best coffee is going to be in the Cove Cafe. The if you want coffee. a little bit of dilly dilly in there, they can help you out with it. Um, yeah, but you know, from that's, experience, that's in the uh, yeah. that's right in the adult area too. Um, so but no, no coffee in the rooms. <clears throat> in the rooms? No, uh, not a coffee maker. I don't, I think, no. don't remember a coffee maker. I don't machine. think they do. We'll have to go get a coffee before we do coffee. I, I mean, I've never used a coffee maker from a room that I ever remember. But that's just me. <laughs> so I I don't I don't know. Hey, we woke up Jim with the talk of coffee. <laughs> I I always think how often do they clean these machines if they're in the room? But I'm, yeah, that's just me. Um there is no casino. Yeah. On the yeah, casino. No. There is no there is no drink but package. There's arcades for uh adults and kids on yeah. the ship. So that's yeah. fine. Um, there is no drink package, so you're not going to have people trying to get their 15 drinks in, in a day. No, it's they, very family oriented. The only thing they do have, I mean, they have bars. Um, the only thing they have is it's called the beer program, and you can buy a cup, like a mug, and then turn it in. And then when you turn it in, you get a different mug back, and it's at a lower cost. It's like $5 cheaper, I you think. You don't get to keep your mug. You do. It's like a recycled mug. So oh. they'll give you a new one and then it's kind and of And you like, keep your mug too. No, you just, you're turning it in. Oh, I thought they were reusable or something. Okay. Yes. I That's heard like, that we should bring a refillable thing for like the sodas and stuff like yep. that. You you can, can. Yeah. The, the one thing about that though is if you do that, you to, what we always did, we had our tumblers. We would use their plastic cups. We would put it in there and, and then, then put it in, it in. because you don't want other people who might not wash their cups to be putting it in like, the machine. <laughs> Which so we've seen stuff be, in the past. Yeah. <laughs> and we did that because soda, soda, coffee, and all that is all, well, coffee's pretty much always free and on the cruise, but not all cruise lines give you free soda. So Disney gives you that, which is really cool. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. So the only thing I had was I know that there's a health questionnaire. Do you, is that that's just everything's done on the app, right? Yes. When you and check, we'll get emails to say, "Hey, it's time for you to fill this out," or do we have to dish around and figure out all the date, due dates? And stuff? I think when we did it, we did it in person on the paper. We, they had to fill it out. It, you know, it's, uh -huh. it's been a while since Disney has done it, and again, post pre-COVID, it's been a while since we've been on Disney post-COVID. But a lot of times, you'll on some cruise lines, you'll do that at the very end because the question is is like covid related questions do you have like are you showing symptoms of anything before you get on the yeah ship. do you have anyone had a fever has anyone been sick in the last two weeks those i think is when the, the health questions are going to be more prominent okay. than, like, like the last 48 hours before you go on the cruise just, rather than 30 days in advance i would just suggest bringing lots of sani wipes and sanitizer i'm sure they have stuff on the ship but like when we get into our cabin, we know they clean it, but we just double clean it. We wipe down the counters, the cabinets, 
the shelves that you put your clothes on, the toilet seat, everything. We just re-wipe it just to make sure that everything even wipes clean. me. Whatever. No. <laughs> but I just, I just wipe everything down just to make sure, you know, have peace of mind that everything is nice and clean. And then you can start because they might have missed a spot. You never know. They're only human. So you just make sure everything's nice and clean and then you put your stuff out. That's what we do. So I think that's all my That's all you heard? All my questions, yeah. All your questions, yeah. I'm sure as I watch and look at things, I'll have more. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, we, get, we got the red phone to Derek's text. And, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. We will be happy to answer anything we possibly can. Well, there was a couple of things I was going to bring up. Um, Does Avery knows how to ride a bike, doesn't it? Does he? No, he doesn't. That's why we were, we were going to originally do that on Castaway K. And yeah. Well, Avery can't ride it, and I don't yeah. think they have those four the family bicycle things with the, the, uh, sorry, uh, the sorry bikes. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That so, be cool, but. Um, just one thing. As a heads up, I think right now you can check to see what activities are available to on the Disney. But with first time guests, 70 days prior to sale date is when you'd be able to do both your online check in and booking any of the activities. Um, the, the downside of that is if you were Pearl, you can do it 123 days in advance. If you were Platinum, 120. If you're Gold, 105. If you're Silver, which is anyone who's sailed at least once, they do it 90 days. So the, the first time guests are at the end where you might not be able to get everything at booking. But the one thing to remember is keep checking like every other day if there's something that you want because people cancel and you might be able to book something. But also when you get on the ship, they always seem to hold some of these activities off, like room for them. So if you go, you might be able to book something that you wanted that wasn't available on online no do they release um at like midnight or is it more like a nine eight o'clock in the morning type midnight thing, you know? midnight mm -hmm. of the day that you're supposed to yeah gotcha um the one thing is um when you do like say i don't do you guys do photo opportunities with the princesses okay so i won't worry about not something we have to do but sometimes it will once in a while Mark is going to book and rewatch this from the beginning. Good stuff. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. we, try. we have lots of videos out there if you want to watch them from our past cruise. We're going to do a huge Disney meetup on a cruise. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Um, we sure. would genuinely love to go with you guys if we had the money. And it's just, we had to pick between. Having a place to live or <laughs> going on cruises. Yeah, right. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Move over your head is overrated. <laughs> we well, will meet you guys one day. Right? The, the one thing, too, to think about Disney is one thing that we notice they'll tell you a price and they show you by cabin. Other cruise lines will do it per person. So Disney might show it's going to be $3,800. Um, other cabins, other cruise lines will say it's going to be $1,500 per person. But by the time you buy the drink package or um, say you book excursions, when you're on the ship, you start doing all these additional costs, go-karts, um, booking other like specialty dining, additional oh, dining. Yeah. It can be maybe not as much as a Disney cruise, but they're closer to each other than like if you check when all said oh. and done and you compare the two cruises, you're still spending a lot of money on uh, some of them, except for Carnival. Well, Carnival's a cheap one. Yeah. Me a question too, because we, we booked through CrewCon, right? And they said, I guess we get $150 like a credit thing. Free money. To use. What, do you guys know how how do you do that? Is it, do you, will they give us a, a card or is it just, it's is like, it all is it in the records of the ship or? It should it, be on your account. Yeah, it should say stateroom credit. So you can check. Yeah. And on your, your TV, it yes. should show it. On your TV, it'll let you know. And if you don't, then you could always reach out to them and say, I'm supposed to have it um, at guest services. A cruise, I always say a cruise is only as expensive as you make it after you, you pay the fees for the booking. But even that, 
it's only as expensive as you make it because if you want a, like a deluxe or huge room, you're making it expensive. If you just get a standard room, you're going to get a lower price. Whatever you add on top of that is up to you. Right. So a cruise is only as expensive as you want to make it, really. Yeah. So like we're not going to book those two hotels, those extra hotel, not hotels, uh, restaurants, because all the other stuff is included. What's and this is our first one. Yeah. I don't want to be putting money here, 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 and here, and then ends I, up I being think, humongous. Yep. You know? I think that's smart. And it's smart to enjoy what a ship offers because, yeah. and we change at the beginning. We didn't want to go off ship and buy like local cuisine, but now that's one of the things we look forward to experiencing like food in Mexico or food in St. Thomas. We look forward to having something local cuisine that you can't get where we live. Um, yeah. But for, especially for like a three night cruise, I would agree. Get try get to get your money's worth yeah. on the cruise ship itself. Right. Yeah, there's going to be plenty of food at our fingertips, so I don't have to worry about yep. paying for something I don't really need. <laughs> well, we are almost a half hour over. <laughs> Sorry, but, no, Thank no, you. you're, it's fine. We no, will, it's, we will, it was fun. We will definitely be able to talk after this if you guys are still here. <clears> everyone that talk. stayed with us, thank, thank you. you. Yes. Um, you know, we're, you can, we can go over... And if people want to say that's fine, if they don't, that's fine. So we didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. But <laughs> thank you, everybody who, who was there. <laughs> thank you, everyone who was able to stay or that wanted to stay. Um, and we'll go ahead and end it here. Yes. Uh, Mark, so they're happy going. Happy Easter, everybody. They're going on a three night cruise. Yeah. A three hour tour. <laughs> No, um, no. Hopefully, hopefully the Easter Bunny is good to you this year. Oh, it comes by I house. know one thing that you guys can do, which is free, and you will get a free rubber medal, is on Castaway Key, you can sign up for the 5K. You don't have to run. It's not timed. And you can walk through oh, yeah. the island. I was like, wait, you don't will, have to run. <laughs> they will give you um, a little medal that's rubber that says 5K, Castaway Key on yep. there. So family yeah. can do that. Yeah, that'll be a fun thing to do. It is fun. It's a it's a cute little metal. It's I mean it's not a metal, but well, I'm not gonna say a cute little rubber because that sounds so wrong. But it's a rubber metal. <laughs> a rubber award, right? There you go. <laughs> that's, that's something that we gotta sign up for. Yes. yes, yes. And they'll tell you where to meet, what time to meet. Um but I would do that when you get on the ship. They'll just inquire, mm -hmm. how do we sign up for the 5K? It's going to be hard because I'm a planner. And NED. Disney's screwing this up for me. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, if fun. you get to do a longer one next time, if you like this one, which I'm pretty sure you will, and you do a longer one, you're going to be able to experience all the restaurants that you want, and you're going to do, be able to do so much more. But this is like what we did. You're dipping your toes in the water. And we did that. And we're like, we want more. I wish it was longer than three days. But you know what? Some people don't. Some people, cruising isn't for them. So yep. you're, um, you're, you're saying out. about a $1,500 mm -hmm. difference, I think, from a three to four night cruise. So I think you guys are going to love it. Yeah. I think you're going to get the cruise bug right away. But that's just us. I, I hope so. I hope so, too. I don't want to be the one that's sick, you know. Well, because I want to use cruising to explore like the Mediterranean, not mm. that whole area, and you know Norway and, yep. and, and the West Coast too. So that's what I want to use it as a, an easy way to do that thing instead of flying into a country and, rely, right. and relying on cars and all this other stuff. It's just I think it's a little bit easier to. Yeah. You're going on a. Um, we always say you're going on a, a hotel on the water, and you're going to these visiting yep. these different ports. Danny D is a very rubbery metal. It's probably better that to you. Wait, what? To what did I say? Better to wish you more days and less days. More days and less. Days. These yes. lights are just really getting to me. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, hey guys, um, hey. we will let you guys, everybody, go. Happy Easter! Hippity hop! Thank you for watching. Have a thank great you for having us on your show, guys. Yeah.
Yes, and Thank then we'll, we'll chat more off you guys. So hang tight there. But um, I'm Derek, and I'm Gregory. I forget forget our names. I'm <laughs> Little Explorer, and I'm Big Explorer. And as old Disney once said, we, we are, are just, just getting, getting started. started. Subscribe to Disney Herders, Nerd Herders, please. Yes. Subscribe. Oh, subscribe. Jelly, jelly, everybody. Love you guys. Love you guys. <laughs>